Hi guys, I'm gonna share with you what I got for my birthday last year because it's already January now and my birthday was in December. Um, it's definitely a belated haul, even I don't know when this is going to be <laughs> edited and uploaded but whatevs right, as long as you get to see what I got and I'm not like showing off or anything, I'm just excited about all the goodies that I got. I never expect anything for my birthday because my birthday is in December so if you're in Singapore and pretty much everywhere else in the world you know that you know December is sort of like the holiday season so nobody goes to school so even when I was growing up I didn't really get to celebrate my birthday with my friends and all that so I never really expect anything for my birthday. Presents are like truly a bonus because I'm used to not getting presents. So all these things I'm going to show you, I'm very very uh, blessed and thankful for them and I'm just showing you just because it's fun and I like to see what people get for their birthday. So enough of all those disclaimers, let's just get right into it. I'm actually pretty excited because after this haul, I can literally use all these things already. <laughs> Although I've used some of them already. Okay, so the first one is something from my parents-in-law. They happen to to be in town um, sort of leading up to my birthday so they actually were very generous to gift me with my um, first Dior J'adore perfume and it comes in a box set like that I really like it it actually is of the same material as if you were to get the uh, fashion items as well so it opens up like that Dior does everything with class so that's how it looks like and when you open it up ta -da! So this is the full size of the Dior J'adore perfume and it even comes with a little uh, travelo thing which looks very very chic. It has the logo there and one at the top. So this is very nice for you to put around in your purse. And then the full size of the perfume, as you know, looks like this. This is the one that has Charlize Theron draping herself in lots of ribbons and all that in the latest commercials. So I actually haven't put on my perfume today, so I'm going to put this on. Ooh, pretty. I do have a sample size of this, but I don't have a full size. Mm, very nice, very light, um, not as strong as Miss Dior Sherry, but very light and very classy at the same time. So that's the full size bottle and then the uh, Travelo, let's see, it opens up like that. So that's how it looks like and I think I will figure out a way to, yeah, you can actually refill it from there. So I just thought that it would be a nice piece just to put around your room or to carry it out. It'll be a good talking point and I like that. So thank you very much, mom and dad, if you're watching. All right, I got two famous Amos um, sort of tin biscuits here. My colleagues know that I love to eat. So this is from Andrew and it is basically sort of supposed to look like like a very cute um, double story famous Amos bakery and the uh, cookies inside I haven't touched it yet mm, it smells so good so it's really cool I can still reuse this tin which is very sweet of him to do that and then this is from Lee Juan Audrey and it has the cookies in there as well so I really like that guys thank you so much it comes with a little nice notes as well. Next up is something really really sweet from my friend Cassandra. She really didn't have to do this but I met her like um, during lunchtime one day. She works near where I work so she passed me the gifts and it was super super sweet. I was so excited when I saw what she got me, the first one is a huge ass, as you can see there, it's a bronzer and it's from Ruby. She actually did message me once to ask me, have you tried that bronzer before? I'm like, no, I don't have it, but I heard like it's as big as the Marc Jacob one, so yes, that's how huge it is. So it says bronzer there, it doesn't really have a color or anything, so um, let me just try and open, okay, it just opens up like that. Are you guys ready? Bam! That's how huge the bronzer is. I'm not going to swatch it because I haven't like taken pictures of it yet but it looks like it's not like a, it's definitely not a matte bronzer. It's very shimmery and I think it's just going to give you that really nice glow to your face. So I'm really really excited to use this. So thank you so much Cassandra. Very very excited and it comes with a full size mirror as well and I like the packaging of this. And in addition to that, she gave me something else here which is super super cute, it comes wrapped in this nice packaging and it is a little um, sort of uh, 
jewelry uh, type thing for you to keep your rings or your earrings on and this is really cool because I can actually put my rings as well as my like everyday earring my everyday rings I can actually put it here so this is how it looks like it's like a nice cactus plant and I think it would actually look nice on my table so I've got um, a gift from my dear friend at work Rani she gave me two mascaras from the Bare Minerals Double Domination uh, full size plus free travel size mascara so Thank you so much. Again, I never, I don't really expect anything, especially from my friends, because like really you don't, you really don't have to. So it comes with two mascaras here. I haven't used this yet, so I'm really uh, excited to do like a first impressions for you guys. But it's basically, um, it's a quite a famous mascara. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So this is how the, ooh, the packaging of the small size looks like has a nice grip to it and it's very very uh, it has a very interesting sort of um, applicator that as you can see it kind of swirls around the wand so that's really pretty and it sounds like it's gonna be really good so that's so I was lucky enough for my birthday to fall within that time of the year where everyone goes out for their travels so a lot of my friends gave me stuff from very exotic places so starting off with Vinci he actually went to uh, I think he went to Turkey so he got this really nice um, Quran looking kind of book and it opens up like that with the clubs and it's basically just lined uh, pages so I thought this would be really good for me to jot the things that I want to do down some thoughts and all that so and I just really like the um, the look of the book very very exotic and romantic and he went to China I think this was from China so he went there and he got me this nice little satin bag first of all and then inside is a he really really pretty Piece, which is sort of like a jade looking and it has nice little pink stuff there so I really like it um, again they don't really have to do to get anything from me when they travel and all that but I really really appreciate it can't wait to try this out and while we are on that a um, couple more other things so my friend Doris she went to Venice I think she got this in Venice and she got me this really really nice uh, bracelet which is sort of like almost Pandora like so but it's sort of you know crafted by the worksmanship in the people in um, Venice and all that so that's really pretty I've worn this once before already so opens up with the magnetic clubs like that and it will just complement most of my work outfits because it brings like some color to it and then my friend Tim he went to where was this from he went in Europe again so I think this is was in Milan or something and basically he got me um, again handcrafted sort of glass bead glass pieces that are made into earrings so that's really really nice so thank you guys oh last one Jean went to Korea I'm really lucky I have friends who travel a lot and she got me a couple of beauty items and I'm gonna show you first first is something I'm really excited to try out this is um, a 3CE um, lipstick looks like that very very pretty packaging I think and it is in the color fatal it really reminds me of Rebel from MAC and then swatched on also is very very pigmented and it also looks pretty similar to Rebel so I'm really excited to try out to see how the quality of it is and I just think that the packaging of the lipstick is so pretty very unique and the other one that she got is a fly to the moon liquid eyeliner she must have gone if I have gone to Korea with her I think I must have gone crazy because of all the of all the makeup items there so it's by a brand called nature republic and this is really really gorgeous it's basically like um uh an eyeliner looks like that in terms of the applicator and it's basically like a black base but it has very nice glitter specks to it so this is how it looks like very very pretty very subtle and it has a very sturdy wand which i think would make application a breeze and she got me lots of masks and all that so she got me this uh, full set of masks something that I can wear on the paws something I can wear for my blackheads and something um, as a soothing oh so I think all these are just basically for the nose area and then two honey balm all in one um, 
what is this? Uh, ampule. So I think it's just a mask that I can actually wear. And then a couple of CC creams from Vanilla.co. And then we've also got some vital creams from Essential Source as well as Nature Republic cleansing uh, lotion. So she was saying that in every store that they went to, they gave like tons and tons of samples. So they should start doing that in Singapore. Hmm, just saying. Friend Jean, who's one of my bestest friends in the world, I don't know what I would do without her. She gave me something from one of my favorite brands and it's Rabi Co. This Rabi Co is um, it's a Hong Kong brand, but they have they make everything in Italy and stuff like to that. the bag itself. Uh, so it comes in a nice little uh, um, desk bag there, and kabam! Look at that, it's so pretty. It comes with a nice uh, Rebianco logo right there, and it's a full leather. It has a very nice, unique color. I really, really like it, and it's a, let's just a very nice basic pouch which you can pretty much use for anything you want to use it for. I am going to use this to put all my freaking coins in there because I've accumulated I always accumulate so much coins that I don't have enough space to put it on my wallet so that would be a good place to keep all my coins. Okay, so my uh, colleagues at work gave me a card and they also treated me to lunch at this place called Seer in Raffles Place. Very very nice place for steak. So they gave me this card to say happy birthday to one of the most professionals talented, dedicated people at work and inside the card it says from the other ones. So it's pretty cute, they all signed it and stuff. Gave me nice well wishes which I really really appreciate. Okay, so on to the last two items. So every year I try to buy something for myself. It's just an excuse for me to actually go shopping but um, I do try to do that um, every year. So this year I actually decided to get this from on Pedder. Ooh, it looks very mysterious. It is by the brand. Um, let's see, I need to read the brand. I keep forgetting what the brand is. It's by the brand uh, Butler and Mason. Fail. Butler and Wilson. It's from the brand Butler and Wilson. It's from on Pedder. And this is probably my favorite piece. This is a lip jewel encrusted bracelet and look at the details at the back so freaking cute oh my god i really really like this i saw it i fell in love with it and it, i had to take one out because it was too loose but it managed to take it out for me and i just oh, i just love it so much this is so me because i love lipsticks and all that and so i'm just really happy that i managed to get that for myself okay so my battery looks like it's gonna die i want to show you my last gift which is um the most meaningful gift for me and it's from my husband um i'm gonna show you how it came in first came in this huge uh, bag here and it says Ernest Borel Romance in Heart since 1856 so he completely completely surprised me with this because he was supposed to go and like um, repair one of my watches with a, a new battery and stuff and then when I walked into the store he's like okay let's take a look at your birthday present I'm like what birthday present so the lady behind the counter she actually got this wrapped up all for me just so that I could enjoy the surprise of the moment so it's very sweet um and I'll show you the box that it came in it's a huge ass box and it came, comes in like that Honestly, I don't know what to do with this box after this. Uh, so it comes in with all the things that you need, like a dust bag, it comes with a manual and all that good stuff. Actually, I haven't actually seen what it comes in. So, opens up like that and the box, the watch box slides off like that. It's like it opens up like that and the watch was in there. <laughs> you know, this is such an epic fail kind of haul. But it was in there and I was so, so happy. So I'm going to show you the watch now. So this is how the watch looks like. It is so beautiful and I'm trying really hard to not scratch it. Um, it's got um, diamond set pieces on the dials right there. It's an automatic yeah, I think that's the right word to call it and it's just really really beautiful. Let me show you the back of it. The back is 
gorgeous. I've, so I've never really owned like a piece like this and I'm very very humbled and very blessed, very happy that he got this for me because I kind of wanted a good timepiece but I didn't expect it to be this amazing and I'm just really really trying not to scratch this so I've kind of made sure that I'm keeping it um, under wraps or you know covered or I'm putting it onto if I were to put to keep it I keep it in a dust bag and all that so that's that I have worn this um, non-stop for the last couple of months I just like how it looks with the work outfit and even if I'm wearing like casual day Friday sort of uh, outfits I will still wear this to kind of make the outfit look a little bit classier so today I'm actually wearing this jumpsuit from Dorothy Perkins I'm going to a wedding so this is how the outfit will look like and I think it matches the outfit really really well so yeah those are the items that I got uh, Vincent and Ellie have got like an item that we are kind of working on together that they are going to give me so they again don't really have to do that but I'm also looking ex looking forward to that piece so yeah these are my blessings that I've got for last year from my loved ones and thank you so much to each and every one of you um, for thinking of me and for putting in that extra effort to give me something so I hope you guys enjoyed this and till I see you in my next video bye